हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल मेडिकल सिंपल बाय हार्दिक शाह टुडे वील हैव अ डिस्कशन ऑन फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम मेजरली इट इज कंप्राइजिंग ऑफ फोर ऑर्गन्स द लोएस्ट ऑर्गन इज नोन एज विजाइना फॉलोइंग द विजाइना दैर इज अस फॉलोड बाय टू ओवरीज एंड two fallopian tubes let us understand each organ one by one vagina this is vagina vagina is about nearly 10 cm long tube it is elastic and muscular in nature that is connecting the uterus to the rest outside world vagina as a opening this opening of a vagina is known as vaginal opening or vaginal orifice and this opening is generally covered with a membrane called hymen what are the functions of vagina vagina majorly act as passage way for three things one it acts as a passage way for the menstrual flow it also act as a passage way for the sperms during the intercourse sexual intercourse the sperm enters through the vagina into the female reproductive system and the third is it acts as a passage for a baby it act as a birth canal for a baby during a vaginal delivery a baby comes out into the world with the help of the vagina the next is uterus uterus is also known as hysteria or womb uterus as such it is mainly divided in a three parts and having a three different layers let us see the three layers of the uterus first the three layers of the uterus are outer layer middle layer and inner layer outer layer of a uterus is known as perimetrium middle layer of a uterus is known as myometrium inner layer of a uterus is known as endometrium out of three layer myometrium is the thickest layer for the uterus coming to the three parts of the uterus uterus as such it is divided in three parts upper middle and lower upper part of a uterus is known as a fundus which is a dome shaped part middle part of a uterus is known as a body that's the main part or you can say it's a site of implantation for the blastocytes baby throughout the pregnancy stays on the body of the uterus for entire 37 to 40 weeks of pregnancy lower part of a uterus known as cervix the cervix is a part which is directly connected associated with the vagina what are the functions of the uterus there are three functions the uterus has first during the menstrual cycle a time when there is no fertilization took place that means a woman is who is continuing with the menstrual cycle without pregnancy uterus sheds its lining that is endometrium the inner lining of a uterus sheds during the menstruation every month during pregnancy that means if the fertilization occurs during the menstrual cycle then what would be the role of a uterus during the pregnancy the embryo or a baby gets attached and nourished protected throughout the pregnancy in the uterus during the childbirth what is the role of uterus uterus contract and pushes the baby into the cervix and into the vagina moving on let us understand fallopian tubes these are the fallopian tube there are two fallopian tubes as you can see which is starting from the top of the uterus fallopian tube again has a three parts 
this three parts of the fallopian tube are ampulla isthmus and infundibulum with the fimbria let us see one by one what is ampulla ampulla the widest and the longest part of the fallopian tube this is the area where a fertilization takes place that means this is the area where a sperm fertilize the ovum and this is the beginning of the pregnancy isthmus that's the narrow portion that follows the ampulla infundibulum the one which directly opens into the peritoneal cavity the end of the infundibulum has a finger like projection the finger like projections known as fimbriae the fimbriae are the one which creates a wave like motion to sweep the egg into the tube what are the functions of the fallopian tube fallopian tubes are the one which conveys the ovum from the ovary to the uterus and as i said earlier fertilization generally takes place in the upper portion of the fallopian tube that is ampulla come to the last part of female reproductive system that is ovaries ovaries generally been considered as a primary sexual organ for the female there are two ovaries located on each side of the lower abdomen ovaries divided in two parts one is cortex another is medulla each ovary is around 2 to 4 cm long and it is shaped like unshelled almond let us know something more about the ovaries ovaries are having a x or you can say follicles when a girl child is born she bones with nearly around 1 to 2 millions of eggs or oocyte stores within the ovary this oocytes or eggs generally remain in a primordial condition it is even before a primary the oocytes are there which is covered within a follicle this oocytes over a period of time grow primordial follicle become a primary primary become secondary and ultimately it becomes a graffian follicle this entire procedure of growth of the follicles and along with the follicles there are oocytes inside the follicle they also grow the entire process is known as folliculogenesis folliculo that means follicle genesis means growth so follicles are growing oocytes present in the primordial follicle starts growing eventually become graffian follicle this is folliculogenesis once your graffian follicle is formed it releases the egg which is present with it this egg or also known as ovum the process of releasing of ovum is known as ovulation graffian follicle releases egg and turned to a corpus luteum now this is a corpus luteum the ruptured follicle ruptured graffian follicle is known as a corpus luteum what are the functions of ovaries ovary responsible for production of female sexual hormones like progesterone and estrogen these are the hormones which provide female a feminine character helps in regulation of a menstrual cycle breast development and other changes during the puberty at the same time as we discuss ovaries also produces ova or eggs which potentially fertilized by the sperm to start a pregnancy this is all about the female reproductive system thank you